of what you want all the time. Sometimes you have to compromise. That doesn't mean abandoning your principles, but instead it means holding on to those principles and then having the confidence that they're going to stand up to a serious democratic debate. That's how America's founders intended our system to work. That through the testing of ideas and the application of reason and proof, it would be possible to arrive at a basis for common ground. And I should add, for this to work, we have to actually believe in an objective reality. This is another one of these things that I didn't think I had to lecture about. You have to believe in facts. <laughs> Without facts, there's no basis for cooperation. If I say this is a podium and you say this is an elephant, it's going to be hard for us to cooperate. <laughs> I can find common ground for those who oppose the Paris Accords. Because, for example, they, they might say, well, it's, it's not going to work. You can't get everybody to cooperate. Or, or they might say, it's more important for us to provide cheap energy for the poor, even if it means in the short term that there's more pollution. I, at least I can have a debate with them about that. And I can show them why I think clean energy is the better path, especially for poor countries, that you can leapfrog old technologies. I can't find common ground if somebody says climate change is just not happening when almost all the world's scientists tell us it is. I don't know where to start talking to you about this. If you start saying it's an elaborate hoax, I don't know what to... Where do we start? Unfortunately, too much of politics today seems to reject the very concept of objective truth. People just make stuff up. They, they just make stuff up. We see it in the growth of state-sponsored propaganda. We see it in internet-driven fabrications. We see it in the, in the blurring of lines between news and entertainment. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie and they just double down and they lie some more. It used to, Look, let me say, politicians have always lied. But it used to be if you caught them lying, they'd be like, oh, man. Now they just keep on lying. They, they just... <laughs>